Well, you guys got another video. How secure is incognito mode? Now you can browse privately and other people who use your device won't see your activity. But then we get the but. However, downloads, bookmarks and reading lists uh, items will be saved. Chrome won't save the following information, your browsing history, cookies and site data and information entered in forms. Your activity might still be visible to websites that you visit, your employer or school, or your internet service provider. So how does this work? Well, it keeps all of this data temporarily. You can close your browser and it all gets deleted when the browser is closed. So when the next user comes along, they won't be able to see the activity that you've been doing on that browser. But remember, this only affects what is stored locally on your computer, but that traffic is still being routed via your ISP or business, so it can be visible. Also, remember, people can use uh, data recovery software like Recover to recover that data on your PC because it's not secure erased once the browser is closed, which means anyone with a bit of tech savvy could quite easily recover the data and see what you was looking at on that particular machine. So be careful. And also back in 2020, Google was hit with a class action lawsuit seeking $5 billion for collecting users data through its services in incognito mode. Now, Google did defend against uh, the claims and stated that they mentioned websites do collect data in incognito mode, which doesn't appear in the disclaimer itself. They have since updated this policy in their disclaimer, which will be updated and released very soon to you. At the moment, it's not quite there, but you can still view it uh, using certain methods. And I'll show you those on the screen right now, the difference between the old and the new. So as you can see here, this is the old uh, disclaimer on the left and the new one is on the right. It's pretty much the same. The only difference here really is if you look at where it says others who use this device won't see the activity so you can browse more privately. This won't change how data is collected by websites you visit and the services they use. And the part they've added in is including Google. Downloads, bookmarks and reading lists, items and things like that will still be saved. And you can see the bottom part there is exactly the same. So no real change there. It's just the bit saying including Google. So incognito is still very useful, but it's not as private or incognito as you would like to think it is. Now, of course, if you're one of those privacy conscious people, then you're probably using a VPN. You can connect to it. It will mask your IP address. But bearing in mind, all of the information that you're viewing online while on a VPN is still on the computer that you're using. So you do leave a trace where you've been on your main PC, but it just masks your IP address from uh, people like your ISP and things like that. Now, of course, there's tons of VPNs to choose from. So choose one with no logs, obviously. And obviously you want something that isn't in a country where they could sort of subpoena them to release information if they collect information, that is. So choose whichever one suits you. And of course, you've got options like the Tor browser you can use, which works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android. And you can use something like this if you feel the need to have a bit of uh, privacy. But again, uh, data collection is just about everywhere. No matter where you go, everyone is collecting data and harvesting data, and it's just the world we live in today. So you can choose something like this to connect to and be as private as you can. And again, it will also help you if you don't have any sort of plugins on your browser when you're using it, because obviously these can harvest data as well. With that said, I think that is going to be about it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below your method of browsing the web. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.